I've been wanting to learn to play for a long time. Had been singing for a number of years, but I never learned to play. But it was is in me. Desire was in me. So I prayed, and I was in the dorm one night drawing little keyboard diagrams, maybe two and a half octaves on paper, just drawing it out. And you'll understand what an octave is if you have any musical background. And I draw them on paper, and I was doing this so I could learn where the notes were in each scale. So I would learn the C scale. I learned the D scale. I learned the E scale. Started learning, putting, just doing on paper. Learning what went where. And God blessed me being able to learn to play to where, you know, I can do some worship for him. Now, granted, I'm not a concert pianist. Amen. I'm not a, I'm not a concert pianist by any means. But I'm a worshiper. In worship, in worship, I'm learning to not be worried about what other people are thinking. You know what I'm but only what, only what, what pleases the Father. You know, the script, somebody said it here one Sunday morning, I believe it was, they said, you know, in worship we have an audience of one. I think that was Jeremy that said that. We have a, there's only one person that's, that's really, we doing our worship for. If we're doing it for everybody else out there, we're missing the point. The Father's seeking those true worshipers to worship Him in spirit and the truth. He ain't concerned about how you look. So if you come to church all dressed up and you get sweaty, amen. Amen. Get, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. But a song I, I just want to minister to you is uh, it's called Follow On Me. That's not a key I'm going to be in, Ken. I'm just doing something now. Amen. You'll find me in a minute. Amen. But it's about, about some kind of glory called Follow On Me. It said, let your manifested glory let your manifest glory, Lord. Follow me. Follow me. So as, 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 I sit, <clears throat> as I sing this song, I want to ask you that, you know, God speaks to your heart or he has spoken to your heart. Come on in. Come to the altar and do business with you. And, uh, let him minister to you. Let him minister to you because he wants to do something in your life. He ain't called us to be, just to be pew sitters and people on the sideline. He wants it all today. It's forever. John said he wants it all. 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 He said, I want him to follow me, son. I want him to follow me. I want him to follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me.
that you manifest it glory fall on me. As we enter, Lord, to worship, and we get on one accord, your presence fills this temple, everything we need and more, your manifesting glory, it is wonderful to see, we see your face here in this place, oh come.